Now to our series, Flipping the Script, featuring people on air, on stage, and behind the scenes, shining a spotlight on diversity. Enter Eddie Izzard, the legendary comedian who rose to fame with hilarious, quotable stand-up specials, is now tackling a serious role, Hamlet, and she's doing it all by herself, a one-person show happening now in New York. Izzard, who uses she, her pronouns, came out as transgender nearly 40 years ago and believes that being gender fluid helps her portray so many different roles. Hamlet. Horatio. Why would one performer want to tackle 23 different characters? That is the question. I do believe a number of people around the world, uh, and say particularly in New York, say, this is different, we'll give you a chance. A year after a successful solo run of Charles Dickens' Great Expectations, Eddie Izzard is turning her gaze to Shakespeare, doing Hamlet all by herself. Though this be madness, yet there is method in it. The original play, Shakespeare's longest, is 29,551 words. Izzard's version, adapted by her brother Mark, is shorter, about 13 to 15,000 words, giving a little method to such madness. It's a great big silence you can feel towards the end that even a pin would be embarrassed to make a noise when dropping. 23 characters though, that is hard to differentiate because you don't you don't want to go into like caricature either where you're like, No, that's that's very true and there's I want to do honor as a trans woman I want to and a gender fluid person I want to be, do honor to be the male and female characters. Izzard came out as transgender in 1985. Just last year, she posted, As people may now well know, I have added the name Susie to my name. So going forward, I am preferring Susie, but I don't mind Eddie. And I prefer she, her, but I don't mind he, him. So no one can really get it wrong unless they call me Kenneth or Sabrina. I am remaining Eddie Izzard in public. You can't claim us. We live here. <laughs> 500 million of us. Do you have a flag? <laughs> No stranger to a challenge, Izzard performs comedy routines in four languages. No, 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 no. The dinosaur done a link chronologic. Oh, yeah, and she's an ultra marathoner doing more than 130 marathons since 2009 to raise money for charity. More recently, she ran for British Parliament, falling short but promising to try again. What is the driving force? for running for parliament. Why is that something that? Well, I do think I have certain things. I think c comedy, which is one of my tools, not being used uh, hardly at all in Hamlet, is not actually very good for politics. But I have other skills which maybe come out through running multiple marathons, being very determined, coming out as trans, which I know is uh, a hot button issue at the moment. And I would like to be a member of parliament in the British parliament, even though I love my creative career. I love what I'm doing now. But I feel I have to go and fight for everyone to have a fair chance in life. You said um, the trans issues are a hot button issue right yeah. now. You've been a trailblazer for 40 years. What is it like now compared with what you've seen over um, Well, there's an interesting thing on, on being trans. People might say, oh, there's a lot of very angry talk about it. When I first came out, there was no talk about it. Things I feel are a lot better, even though it's very tough at the moment. It is better, and if we keep being open and truthful and trying to be understanding, I think we can head forwards in what I consider a a positive direction. You know you've been an inspiration to a lot of people, right? Well, I try to inspire myself. That's my my thing. I tried to do, I wanted to do things in life that made me go, who did that? That's amazing. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's all right. All right, I, I'm okay. I can look me in the mirror. I just thought, well, no one's really going to help me. I'm going to go out and fight for all this. I fight for what I can and uh, see where I can get to. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. For now, it got her to Hamlet, sword fighting herself and performing alone for two plus hours. A different kind of marathon. Our thanks to Eddie for taking the time to speak with us. This production of Hamlet is an off-Broadway run. has already been extended twice, running through March 16th. You can catch it at the Greenwich Theater. Shakespeare fans are loving it because it's such a different interpretation of it. So. I was just telling you, I've never seen a one-person show, <laughs> which just really blows my mind. It's, it's like fascinating, yeah. yeah. So, a lot of talent. Good. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.